Hey friends, and welcome to another spooky horror adventure. Today we're playing a horror game called Bad Parenting. Parents often use made-up stories to try to teach their kids a lesson, to try and keep them behaved. And in this game, that's Mr. Redface, who gives well-behaved kids presents at night. That's all we know about the story right now, so I'm sure we're about to learn more about Mr. Redface and this family. Before we start with the game, though, I would like to give you guys a reminder that we've talked about before but I think it's important to bring it up every now and again. We live in a world right now where there is so much pressure to fit into certain molds. Oh, you should have a job by this age. You should be married by this age. Men should be this, women should be that. All of that is just noise. The only thing that matters is you being authentically you. You living in the skin, the experience that you choose to live in. And not only am I saying to be yourself, but do so with gusto. How can you possibly live a fulfilling life if you can't be your most authentic self? You don't have to fit into a mold someone else wants you to fit into. Being you is enough. It's always been enough. I love you guys, and I hope you're safe. Hey guys, real quick before we start, I just got done playing the game, and I need to give a trigger warning here. This game has some pretty disturbing depictions of CA, and if you don't know what that stands for, please look it up. Just want to keep you guys safe. I hope you enjoyed the video. With that being said, here is Bad Parenting. And here we go. Oh. It's finger wagon music. Oh. Story one. Mr. Redface. Is that mom? Mom, you're home late again. Come on, I was busy with work. Can you have some sympathy for me? But today's my birthday. Oh, oh, of course. I know that. <sighs> that sucks. Then where's my gift? Uh-oh. Um, have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? On the birthday of good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they're asleep. Really? No, she's making this up on the spot. Of course. If you want to get your gift, you have to go to bed right away. I'm going to go to bed right now, Mom. And of course we believe it because we're a little kid. Ooh! Is that da dad? Oh. Dad looking like a Snapchat filter. You're fooling the kid again. How many times have you come home this late? I was working and my shift ended late. Uh-oh. Okay. This is already a very interesting family dynamic, and by interesting, I mean bad. The parents are distrusting of each other, obviously. Um, the mother forgot her son's birthday, which... That's unfortunate. And the son doesn't know to not trust his mother. Bull crap. You still think I'm an idiot, don't you? And of course they're doing this right in front of the kid. Oh, don't... Hey, little twerp, get back to your room. Don't stand here eavesdropping on grown-up conversations. You started the- Okay. Oh wow, and this is me playing. So, the first thing I want to mention about this game is, obviously... I think this parental dynamic is going to hit home for a lot of people. And it's, it's a shame and it's sad, but I'm still hoping we can all have, you know, a great experience together playing this game and going on another adventure together, as always. I do want to say, this has hit such an aesthetic tone that I don't think we've 
ever had one of these games hit before. Both in terms of the audio at the beginning and the visual presentation. I mean, look at this wallpaper. It's certainly something. Okay, this is our parents' bedroom. CRT television. It said this took place in 2002, I believe. And the wall art... Okay, almost blends into the wallpaper, to be honest. Is this our room? Room? It's really dark. What is that, toilet paper? Okay. So we go to sleep now? Hmm? Mr. Redface? Come and give me a gift. Hello? Oh! What is that? Oh, it's Mr. Redface. Ugh. Why does he look like he's from one of those Christmas specials? Was that a dream? Did he just climb into my closet? Is that the gift from Mr. Redface? No way! Well, we did get a present, that's cool. Hi, I'm Ron. What? You can talk? We have a talking doll now. Of course, because I was created by magic. Mr. Redface is magic. You even have the same name and appearance as me. That's right, my master made me just for you. But your neck seems a bit loose. It's okay. Sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. What's important is that from now on, I'll be your best friend. That sounds wonderful. Do you want to play something with me? Hmm. My master stored my toys in the closet. Could you get them for me? I think your master's in the closet. The closet is still stuck. Can you try that again? Ooh, yelling at us now. I've tried my best. I can't open it. Do you want me to do something else? I'm hungry. You're a doll. Can you even eat? No, you'll be the one eating, but I'll be able to feel everything you eat. Huh? My master linked all your senses and emotions to me, so I can easily understand you. Wow, that's amazing. And extremely creepy. And he's in there. I saw him. I wonder what mom and dad are up to, honestly. Well. Pills on the counter. And I'm guessing that's a bottle of wine. Hmm. I think those are there for a reason, guys. I'm going to be honest. You're reading this letter at 1 p.m., aren't you, sleepyhead? I've prepared your favorite dish in the fridge, so remember to heat it up before eating. Lately, I've noticed you've been getting lazy about eating. You know I don't have much time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing, don't forget to take your medicine after eating. Mom. I think that mom... is cheating on the father. And the father is probably, based on the interaction we've seen, not a very kind 
person? Holding something else. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, I gotta heat it up first. Duh. Can't just eat it right out of the fridge. Okay. Let's have some yummy, yummy food. Is that your favorite dish? Do you want to see me perform some magic? Yes, please. All right, I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, the dish will be restored to its original state. Wow. Wow, that's amazing! What else can you do? Oh, what is he doing? Did it just drink wine? What just happened? I don't know, you guess. Oh no, the bottle, my dad's gonna whip my butt. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad? Don't worry, my master's taking your dad away. Huh? What did you say? Wait, so... Is this doll Mr. Redface? Okay, well... Let's go check on my dad? Wait... Did you follow me in here? Where's my dad? As I said, my master has taken your dad away. Why? Because your dad is a bad person. He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away by my master to protect children like you. But this is too much. My dad doesn't deserve that. He is a bad person. No, he's not. Please, let my dad go. I'm begging you. So the dad is abusive. All right, all right, but my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Show me the way. The shortcut is through your closet. Okay, well. We better head out then. Do I have to take my medicine though? I guess it doesn't let me. Okay. Through the closet we go. I don't like how you're following me, but... You still can't open it? That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use your parents' closet then. Okay. I didn't even notice they had one, but I guess they do. You should know that these closets can function as portals. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad's being held. Give it a try. There's nothing in here. Oh, right, I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. Okay. This radio will work like an elevator button. You need to select a frequency first. If you choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. Okay. That sounds good. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful garden. Seems like that's not it. Let's try again. What was that?
What was that? Hello? What was that? I was... I was expecting an ocean. I, I, I heard the sound of ocean waves. I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. So, I do want to make a quick observation. Obviously, I don't think any of this is real. I... How do I put this? I think the kid has, especially the idea of taking the radio, putting it in front of a closet, tuning it to different frequencies. I think the kid is trying to cope with the situation, and maybe there's something going on that we don't even know about yet. I think this kid is trying to cope. Where are we now? What are you? What's up? This is a cat? I'm looking for my dad. Describe. My dad's name is Bruce. Wait a moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are many Bruces here. Any more details? Is this Bruce a good Bruce or a bad Bruce? Well, my dad's the kind of person who gets a bit angry. So, he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are still many bad Bruces. More specifics, please. What else does he do? He often yells. Still not enough information. Sometimes he hits me and slaps too. And that's all. The door is behind you. Where are we? Boo! Ha ha! He just got startled. Who are you guys? Just like you, we're kids on our way to find our parents. We're staying here for a bit. Do you want to join us? I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. I wonder if these kids... Wait a minute, something isn't right. I wonder if these kids are also the victims of... Abuse. She looks... Maybe that's just her shirt. She almost looked like cut up or something. Okay. Well, here we go. Dad? Please, stop punishing me. It's me, Dad. Please stop punishing me. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home, or Mr. Redface will take both of us. And he just keeps repeating that. Dad, we gotta go. We gotta go, Dad. Spell? How? Spell what? Huh? Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you hiding in the closet? Mr. Redface has taken Dad. Oh. Well, that's a good thing, then. I'm not joking. It's a long story. Let me explain. How is your doll Ron doing today? Is it alright? Wait, what? The doll? Mom, how do you know about it? Of course I know, since you haven't taken your medicine today. What? This isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story, but the common factor is always that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? 
No. I don't know what's wrong with you. Just go to bed. It's midnight already. There's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him. We didn't take the medicine. Having hallucinations. I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe what she's saying directly. But I do believe that that doll is a coping mechanism. Hey, Ron. What just happened, son? Are you alright? She's not gonna believe us. Okay, she's at the foot of our bed. Do you feel better now? Oh, this is... Not... This is Dad's bed. Yeah, Mom. It's Mr. Red Fate. It's alright. Tomorrow I'll take a day off to stay home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, Mom? I promise. Now go back to sleep. Yes, Mom. Mom? You've broken the promise again. I- I'm... Where is this going? Where is this going? Is Ron here? <gasps> what happened to you? My master beat the hell out of me. He wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry, this is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mom anywhere? My master's taken her away. What? It just happened. I'm sorry I couldn't stop him. You should run away, because he'll come back soon to take you too. No, I, I have to save my mom and my dad too. How? Don't you see what he did to me? Our spell card? I found this at my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. That... that's... that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. Come on, quickly, go into the closet to find where your mom is being held. Alright, Ron. I'm not able to enter my own closet, but... We're gonna go through our parents. Here we go! Oh, I hear her! Hey, did you guys see my mom get taken in? They're hiding, they're... Just looking. Is the cat still here? No, the cat's off duty. Alright, we have the spell, though. Quickly, throw the spell in here and take cover. It's just her crying at the table. Can I not go in? What do I do? Do I hide behind the car with the kids? What's going on? There's Mr. Redface. The spell? Is it done? Is he dead? What is going on? What's happening to you? My master's been defeated. The magic he cast on me is also fading. 
Are you disappearing? Don't worry. This is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. Mom? Dad? They're here. Dad? Mom? Y'all are free now! You've been having an affair, haven't you? I told you I was busy with work. Liar! You've neglected this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? And what about you? Do you think you're better than me? You're just at home leeching off me all year round. What kind of father are you? No matter what I do, it's my business. I still bring money home to support my child. And if you still think I'm... A word I'm not gonna say here? You're lowering yourself even below that. Dude, this is... One more word. Fine. You and I will get a divorce. One of us will have to move out of this house. If you're still here tomorrow, I'll take my son and leave. You stay right there! So when we saw the mother and the father in the different prisons that Mr. Redface brought them to, I think in one, the father was very drunk and lying in bed and repeating himself, and in the other, the mother was crying at the kitchen table over the situation she's in with the husband. And this entire scenario with Mr. Redface is... That little boy is, is making this up in his mind, creating this adventure as a way, I know how to fix my parents. I can fix this, I can solve this, adding a sense of control to his life where there is none right now. And I'm sure in a way he feels partly responsible for what's going on. Even though that's not true. And he's drinking just like Mr. Redface. I won't let this happen. Or wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, no. When the father is... Oh my God, I understand it now. Mr. Redface is real. The little boy has identified the father being drunk and angry and abusive as a separate entity called Mr. Redface because his face physically gets red. And the little boy's like, well, that can't be my dad. It has to be something else, something, something, something bad. My dad can't be bad. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. <sighs> wow. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. The dad is Mr. Redface. He just killed his son. No. No. No! This cannot be true. I'm very sorry, Ron. Your closet. I think you're able to open it now. This... 
is me. Why don't I know anything about these? You've always known. Because I'm the knowing part of you. He's just been trying to cope. You've tried to deny and reject these things and made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad. And me, I have to find a way to lead you back to the reality. I've tried many times, many ways to help you accept this truth as easily as possible. And every time I fail, guess what happens? Tick tock, boom. Your memory resets back to the starting point, which is the night your dad murdered you. How long have I been dead? Fourteen days. It can't have been that long. What really happened to my parents? As for your dad, he's hiding in a cheap motel room. Go home with me, Dad. Oh, he wasn't drunk. His dead son was punishing him. What about my mom? She still sees me, doesn't she? That's right, because she's only at home late at night. But if it's daytime... Son? <gasps> That's what she was crying about. That's what she was crying about. My first theory was wrong, and then it all came together when I figured out who Redface really was, or when the game showed me. Do you have any clues about your husband's hiding place? This, this is such a dark game. You just dropped something, ma'am. The spell card! The spell card we tossed inside the door! Oh my god! The business card to the motel! But I'm not sure it's mine. That's where Dad is. They're gonna get him. They're gonna get him. Holy crap. Killer father arrested. Oh my god, that's sad. Oh, those other, those other kids were dead too. <sighs> this game is a lot sadder than I thought. Oh, that got me choked up. <clears throat> God, this game is sad.
that was such a dark experience, but good lord was it exceptional. I think that's one of the best games we've played all year in terms of, like, the free, short indie horror experiences. This is, um... Wow. Wow. Friends, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. This was one of the most, honestly, thought-provoking experiences we've had on the channel. This is a brilliant game, and apparently this is only episode number one. There's a number two on its way, and... I cannot wait to play it. It's going to be something we play as soon as it comes out, if I can schedule it that way. Guys, please take care of yourselves. I love you very much. Be safe, and I will see you in the next one.